Hi, I'm Cruise and Jules, and I just got back from my South American cruise. I'm going to be telling you all about it. So I started out with a land excursion before the cruise, and then I did one after as well. If you want to know all about it, stay tuned. Catch the cruise news and some travel tools. Where is Cruise and Jules? Ba -da -ba. Okay. So, it's Cruise and Jewels. How do you like my new hat, by the way? I got it on my last cruise. So, I'm not really a captain, but I thought it was fun. And um, enough about that. Let's talk about the cruise. First things first, the ship I was on was Sapphire Princess. I had been on the Sapphire before in Asia. And so, I enjoyed the ship. It's a little bit older, but still in great shape. And great for viewing, especially if you're going around South America, if you're doing cruising it's great for viewing on deck seven if you want to see glaciers and the Chilean fjords so Sapphire Princess has a lot of great decks for viewing and a lot of great entertainment food service it's all there you probably want to know where I've been first of all we started in Iguazu Falls Iguazu Falls is actually larger than Niagara Falls and it borders Brazil and Argentina and it's also very close to Paraguay almost borders Paraguay. After that, we went to Buenos Aires and that's where the cruise left out of. It was a 14 day cruise, South America, Buenos Aires to San Antonio, Chile. San Antonio is the port that's closest to Santiago, Chile. The cruise ships used to dock in Valparaiso. I don't know if any ships are still docking there or not, um, but San Antonio's more of an industrial port. If you wanna learn about South America, if you want to learn about cruising South America or cruising in South America, please subscribe to the channel, Cruise and Jewels. I will be posting videos on the cruise ship, different tours I did. I'll be giving you some tips about traveling in South America, in particular Argentina and Chile and the Falkland Islands too, because we went there as well. And I'm going to share some scenery with you. And guess what I saw? I saw some king penguins, but more on that in another video. Oh, and if you like my hat, Got that on the cruise ship at the gift shop. Well, I kind of like hats. So while I was in Buenos Aires, I also got this hat. It's the Boca hat. So this is a soccer team in Buenos Aires and the people in that neighborhood are very enthusiastic about their soccer and they love the team. And I just thought it would be a fun hat to get because I shouldn't call it soccer. Yeah. So I bought the hat because football, as they call it in South America and most places in the world actually, is like big time popular there. And the Argentinas love their football and their football players. And I was in a football store and I saw this hat and I really liked it because I liked the colors and I liked the design, I liked the logo and I liked the embroidery on it and it's a good quality hat. And I like the color blue. It was perfect. So I bought my Boca hat and uh, I'll be wearing it around on future cruises. Anyway, this was just one of my souvenirs that I got on this trip. And yeah, maybe I'll do a video on cool South American souvenirs too. Okay, so if you're curious about the itinerary we did, some of the stops we did in Argentina were, um, well, we were in Buenos Aires for a couple of days. Then we went to Montevideo, Uruguay. We went to Porto Madryn, which is in Argentina. From there, we went to the Falkland Islands. After that, cruising down by Cape Horn, turned around, went up and through the Beagle Channel, went to Ushuaia, which is, well, they're saying they're the southernmost city in the world. But now that's being disputed with Port Williams or Porto Williams in Chile, which is just a stone's throw away. After Ushuaia, we went and cruised down Glacier Alley, which is super cool. I'll do a video on that. Then we went to Punta Arenas, Chile. We, saw, we went to a penguin colony there. And then the cruise ended in San Antonio. It was very sad when the cruise ends, but we kept it going. So we went and flew from Santiago, Chile into Puerto Natales, Chile. And from there, we did some of the national parks in Chile and one in Argentina. I'll do a video on those as well. But basically that whole area that we did, Patagonia. Patagonia is in Chile and Argentina. 
the quickest way for me to describe it is the southernmost portion of South America, maybe the bottom third. But yeah, we were in the Patagonia region, which is the southernmost area of South America. It was a blast. Every day was wonderful and one exciting thing after the next. So, want to hear more? See you in the next video. Take care. We'll see you later.